The late 1960s and early 1970s witnessed the rise of a terrifying figure in Northern California, the Zodiac Killer. Not exactly the kind of neighbor you'd want to borrow sugar from, this unidentified serial killer preyed on young couples, making date night a lot more stressful than usual, leaving a trail of blood and fear in his wake. Talk about a party pooper. His cryptic messages to the press, often containing ciphers and threats, only heightened the public's fear, and gave crossword enthusiasts a run for their money. This essay delves into the chilling story of the Zodiac Killer, exploring his crimes, his methods, and the enduring mystery surrounding his identity. Spoiler alert, it's still a mystery. The Zodiac Killer case remains one of the most infamous unsolved mysteries in American history. Like a really bad episode of Who Done It? His ability to evade capture, combined with his taunting communications, captivated and terrified the nation. And left everyone wondering if they should start learning Morse code. The Zodiac Killer's reign of terror centered around Northern California. His confirmed victims were found in Benicia, Vallejo, and Lake Berryessa. These locations, spread across several counties, suggest he was familiar with the area. The seemingly random nature of his attacks, coupled with the diverse locations, made it difficult for law enforcement to establish a pattern. The Zodiac's knowledge of the back roads and his ability to disappear into the surrounding wilderness added to the challenge of apprehending him. Victims were often found in secluded areas, away from prying eyes, highlighting the killer's strategic planning. The Zodiac Killer's confirmed victims were young couples attacked in secluded locations. His first known victims were David Faraday and Betty Lou Jensen, shot on a lover's lane in Benicia. Months later, Michael Mago and Darlene Farron were attacked in Vallejo. Mago survived the attack providing valuable information to investigators about the killer's appearance. Later that year, Cecilia Shepard and Brian Hartnell were attacked at Lake Berryessa. Cecilia tragically died from her injuries but Brian survived to provide a chilling account of the hooded assailant. These attacks, characterized by their brutality and seemingly random selection of victims, terrorized communities in Northern California. The fact that the Zodiac often targeted couples in secluded locations contributed to a climate of fear, as young people were afraid to venture out alone. The Zodiac Killer's modus operandi involved more than just murder. He sought notoriety and control, injecting himself into the investigations through letters, ciphers and phone calls. He famously sent coded messages known as ciphers to newspapers, taunting police and threatening further violence. These ciphers contained cryptic symbols and seemingly random strings of letters. His letters often began with the chilling phrase, this is the Zodiac speaking, and went on to boast of his crimes, mock the police, and threaten future attacks. He craved attention and recognition, reveling in the fear he instilled. The ciphers became a macabre puzzle for investigators and the public alike, fueling speculation and fear. Despite decades of investigation, the Zodiac Killer's identity remains a mystery. Several suspects have emerged over the years, each with their own tantalizing clues and potential connections to the crimes. Arthur Lee Allen, a former schoolteacher and convicted sex offender, remains one of the most prominent suspects. His interest in ciphers, his ownership of a watch similar to one believed to have been worn by the Zodiac, and his alleged confessions to acquaintances have kept him on the list of potential suspects. However, lack of concrete physical evidence has prevented authorities from definitively linking him to the crimes. The mystery surrounding the Zodiac's identity continues to captivate and frustrate investigators and amateur sleuths alike. Section 6. The Cipher Challenge. Cracking the Codes. The Zodiac Killer's ciphers presented a formidable challenge to codebreakers and cryptographers. While some of the ciphers were eventually solved, revealing taunting messages and boasts about his crimes, others remain unbroken to this day. The ciphers, with their seemingly random symbols and complex arrangements of letters, became a source of fascination and frustration for both law enforcement and amateur codebreakers. Some believe that the unsolved ciphers may hold the key to unlocking the Zodiac's identity or revealing the motives behind his crimes. The challenge of cracking these codes continues to attract the attention of professional and amateur cryptographers hoping to shed light on this enduring mystery. Section 7. Public Hysteria and Law Enforcement Struggle The Zodiac Killer's crimes had a profound impact on public perception and law enforcement practices. 
His taunting letters and unpredictable attacks created a climate of fear in Northern California. The public, bombarded by media coverage and haunted by the thought of a ruthless killer on the loose, became increasingly wary. The police, under immense pressure to catch the Zodiac, pursued countless leads, but the case remained frustratingly elusive. The Zodiac case led to increased awareness about serial killers and prompted law enforcement agencies to adopt new investigative techniques and crime-solving technologies. The case also highlighted the importance of forensic science and criminal profiling in solving complex crimes. Section 8. The Enduring Enigma Cold Case Active Investigation Although the Zodiac Killer's reign of terror ended in the early 1970s, the case remains an active investigation. Despite advancements in DNA technology and forensic science, the Zodiac's identity remains elusive. Law enforcement agencies including the FBI and local police departments continue to receive and investigate tips from the public. The advent of genetic genealogy, a technique that uses DNA analysis to trace familial connections, offers new hope for potentially identifying the Zodiac Killer. The case continues to fascinate and intrigue the public, inspiring books, documentaries and countless theories. The enduring mystery of the Zodiac Killer serves as a chilling reminder of the capacity for evil and the complexities of unsolved crimes. Section 9. Conclusion, The Zodiac's Shadow The Zodiac Killer, despite his relatively short-lived reign of terror, left an indelible mark on American history and criminal justice. His cryptic messages, brutal crimes and ability to evade capture continue to fascinate and horrify. The case, though cold, remains an active investigation, fueled by ongoing tips, advancements in forensic technology, and the unwavering dedication of law enforcement officials determined to bring closure to this decades-old mystery. Whether or not the Zodiac Killer's true identity is ever revealed, his case serves as a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of society and the importance of vigilance in the face of evil.